pulling all the stops out, the true origins of a very old saying that many of us have used. And this is a double post because it's the origins of that saying and it's also a memory that was passed down to me, a memory of a song that will take us back to the late 1920s, early 1930s, to the Mainange childhood. And the memory's even older than that because it dates from my Nan's mum's childhood, Maud Wanless Price, who we saw recently if you watched the Christchurch Isle of Dogs video and the family history bit of it. And it's a song that always made my Nan smile, even just the mention of it, because it took her right back. Firstly, you're going to hear me play just a small demonstration or little piece of this song on the lovely church organ in Christchurch, as we can see here. Then we'll go on to the memory and why it's so special, and then we'll be pulling all the stops out. And now for that special memory, which was a special memory to my nan and has of course become one to me as well. I was privileged enough to spend a lot of time around my nan and she shared a lot of her memories of me because even at a fairly early age I was interested in history. And when I really got into history in my teens, well, she was a goldmine for information. But my nan is who you see on the right here and her mum Maud is who you see on the left. And our memory takes us back not only to the late 1920s and early 1930s of Martin Dow Road in Custom House, but it, that's my nan's time, but it takes us back to the 1890s and Cubitt Town and Christchurch Sunday School of Maud's time. And the memory my nan shared with me is when she would get home from school on a Tuesday, Tuesday was wash day in those days, wash day was a three day long process. And my nan always remarked, God only knows how my mum stayed so cheerful doing that because my great grandmother would sing when she was doing her washing. And one of her favourite songs is part of our video and what I was absolutely honoured to be able to play in the church that she was christened in and would have attended Sunday school in and sung that song as a little girl. But to the memory of my nan arriving home at number 78 Martindale Road, which you see here, uh, its railings were taken away in the Second World War. But Maud, my nan's mum, is the lady on the far right marked with a blue arrow. Her sister Harriet is the lady on the left. Her niece in the middle, Harriet Junior, and her nephew, the young lad, Tom. And this is Martindale Road. There are very few pictures, I can't find any online, that exist of Martindale Road. So this is a nice bit of social history as well. But my great-grandmother and grandfather and my nan and brothers and sisters, they lived in the upstairs flat and uh, her aunt Hetty, as she was called, lived in the downstairs flat. It was a two up, two down. And nan would arrive back home to this place on a Tuesday from school. And the moment you opened the door, she said you'd, the whole place would smell of sunlight soap and you'd hear her mum singing because they had a little wash house attached to their scullery. A wash house that would have been very much like this. Um, my nan telling me that their tin bath did hang up in the wash house. And wash day, the uh, like her aunt and her mum would do the washing together. One had helped one with theirs and one had helped with the other. And it would start on Tuesday and it would be a three day long process of boiling in the copper on Tuesday. Rinsing and soaking on Wednesday. Drying and ironing on Thursday and Friday and putting away. So, yeah, what a, what a, oh dear, no, no thank you. But yeah, it takes us back to that, and it always made my nan smile, the memory, and the memory of that song. And this is a typical London wash house of the era, 
it may not look exactly the same as my great grandparents one but this is kind of what we're getting hard work in those days and dangerous too boiling clothes I mean the children would often help when my nan got in it would be your school clothes off and get out there and help and one of her jobs was to get the boiling clothes out of the copper which many children did and many children were hurt and injured like that and burned quite badly but my nan never was she was careful and um, another thing was to run the clothes through the ringer so that her mum could get them dried and ironed and everything yeah and we're now going to visit the origins of the story or the saying rather pulling all the stops out this saying comes from church organs and it's also used in conjunction when you make a very great effort for someone or something you pull all the stops out and it relates to church organs when you want to give the best you pull all the stops out so let's go on to that little bit of the video and then you'll be going on to the tribute which is the song that my nan used to hear all the time when she came home on wash days and that song takes us back to Custom House 1930s and Cubit Town 1890s. And here you hear the organ with all its stops in. It doesn't make any sound. If you pull one of them out, or two of them out, and you get different sounds. And pulling all the stops out comes from this saying. And the song you're about to hear that I've chosen to pull all the stops out for and for my great grandmother and my nan is called Let the Blessed Sunlight In. One of the songs that my nan told me her mum learned at the Sunday school when she was a little girl. I found the record of Maud at Cubitt Town School and at both the Sunday school as well as she attended the Sunday school there and the Sunday school at Canning Town for two years until she left school. But yeah, this is a little tribute to them, and we have pulled all the stops out, so off we go. <laughs> <laughs> 